All right, so let's take a look at this video. Uh, we're going to be dealing with co-function identities, and we're going to solve trig equations, where we have to apply the uh, these co-function identities. So here's the here's your co-function identities. Uh, sine theta is cosine of 90 minus theta. Cosine is sine of 90 minus theta. And I'm not going to read all of them to you. Just cosecant and secant their co-functions. There's their cofunction identities and tangent and cotangent. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And I, I do have a video on, uh, I, I've already done, you can say I've worked them already, but it's just rewriting uh, the trig functions in terms of their cofunction. Okay, so check that video out if that's what you're looking for. But this one's just solving equations. All right, <clears throat> so here we have uh, cotangent theta is equal to tangent of 25 degrees. So we need to figure out what theta is. All right, so, well, we've got cotangent theta is equal to, now, tangent, remember the cofunction identi identity for tangent is cotangent of 90 minus this angle. So that's 90 degrees minus the 25 degrees. And so that's going to give us uh, cotangent theta is equal to cotangent of 65 degrees. <clears throat> and so you see now we have cotangent theta is equal to cotangent 65 so now we can just take the theta and set it equal to the 65 degrees since both of these are cotangent. So we have theta is 65 degrees. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at another one. Here we have sine theta is equal to cosine of negative 30 degrees. Well, so this is going to give us sine theta is equal to, well, cosine, if we use the cosine identity, that's going to be sine of 90 minus the angle. So that's 90 minus the angle of negative 30 degrees. And so we get sine theta is equal to sine of, and then 90 minus negative 30, that's going to give us 120 degrees and so since both of these are sine we can set theta equal to the 120 degrees. All right so let's take a look at this one here we have cosecant 3 pi over 4 is equal to secant theta. All right so well this one is in terms of radians okay the the same properties apply like for this one uh, well let's see we're doing what this is uh, cosecant and secant so let's come over here and let's just look at uh, I don't know let's look at this one so we have we have cosecant theta is equal to secant of 90 minus theta but look since we're in radians, that's what? Pi over 2 minus theta. Okay, That's the only difference. If you're in radians, instead of 90 degrees, we're using pi over 2. Okay, So let's see what we've got. <clears throat> All right. So this one, this is going to be, well, I'm going to rewrite cosecant in terms of secant. So <clears throat> that's going to give me uh, cosecant is secant of pi over 2 minus this angle. So that's pi over 2 minus the 3 pi over 4. Okay, And that equals secant theta. And so now I have secant is equal to, well, uh, pi over 2 minus uh, 3 pi over 4. That's going to give me secant of negative pi over 4, which is secant theta. 
and so now that I have secant on both of them well that gives me theta is negative pi over 4. Okay. Okay. Alright so we got two more this one and this one so let's see what we get. So for this one uh, what's the best way to work it? Well let's see. How about we rewrite this and so that'll give me cosecant and I'm in degrees so cosecant well, secant is cosecant of 90 minus the angle, and that equals cosecant theta over 2 plus 20 degrees. And now that I have cosecant on both of them, I can just set, take the 90 minus theta and the theta over 2 plus 20, set those equal to each other. Okay. And so to solve this, well, I've got a fraction in there. So let's let's come over here and multiply each term by 2 and that that'll get rid of the uh, fraction for us. And so 2 times 90, that's 180 minus and then 2 times theta, that's 2 theta. And then 2 times theta over 2 is just theta and then we've got plus 2 times 20 is 40 and so now let's see how about we add 2 theta to both sides and then that means we'll subtract 40 to both sides and so that's going to give me this is going to be 140 is equal to 3 theta and then I divide both sides by 3 and so theta is 140 over 3 that doesn't go evenly so we just leave it as 140 over 3 and if you wanted to you could you could punch it in your calculator and you could put theta equals 46.67 degrees okay this is leaving it as a fraction. This would be the the decimal. All right. So now let's take a look at this one. So which one do we want to rewrite? Well, it it doesn't matter. Let's rewrite this one in terms of sine. All right. So we've got sine of three theta minus fifteen degrees is equal to now for cosine. That's going to be sine. Now, this is considered your angle, all of this. So that's going to be 90 minus theta plus 25 degrees. But the one thing you've got to remember, it's minus this whole thing. So you have to make sure you put that in parentheses. And so that's going to be sine 3 theta minus 15 degrees is equal to sine of that's going to be 90 minus, and then I'm going to distribute the negative. Okay. And so this is going to be sine of 3 theta minus 15 degrees is equal to, it's going to be what? Um, six, uh, that's going to be sine of 65 degrees minus theta. And now that we have the sign on both of them we can just set these equal to each other <clears throat> so that's going to be 3 theta minus 15 degrees is equal to 65 degrees minus theta and so let's see we'll add theta to both sides and we will add 15 degrees to both sides and so that is going to give us that's going to be 4 theta equals, what is that, 80 degrees? No. Yep. And then we'll divide both sides by 4, so we get theta is 20 degrees. All right, so hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos, and give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.